Click on the subscribe button, especially the bell on the right side, otherwise you will miss the latest videos. Thabko Pranam. Aaj hum topic le rahe hain Corona virus, jis ka ek fear psychosis har ek ke din mein baitha ho ki Corona ka kya ho ga. We would go astrologically and see what would happen and at the end of the day at the end of the meeting everybody would be contented that whatever they they uh, whatever they have gathered from the my teachings rather patel sahab's teaching so everybody would be happy and for detecting disease in a person this would be very very helpful so in fact this uh, program uh, was uh, uh, said to be uh, when i just said that we are starting a new course from next saturday so let us let us do some um, program to make people aware of this uh, whatever we we are uh, we, we will do in the class in our Uh, course from starting from next saturday so today we would be doing bhav mad navash people who know people who know this my earlier students they may uh, i would uh, request them to uh, keep quiet and they uh, should not answer the question and let others to answer the questions is everybody other than my students earlier are people aware of what is bhav mad navash it is contained in yeah. uh bhav mad navash it is contained in um, book in patel sahab's book bhav mad navash can anybody tell me what is bhav mad navash whole play would be whole game it is we'll play with the namaz in our course also we'll play with the namaz and we'll see how useful it is in every moment today there are two news is one just now uh, around what time it is an indian express that uh, government has said they would watch for uh, one one news is uh, this government has said uh, this big new why government said next 40 days are crucial this is news of 746 there is another news today morning what is that uh, news what is that news concerning everybody of india what is that news can can somebody tell me today morning there is a great news uh, about concerning everybody in india any breaking news can somebody tell no this is about modi's mother admitted to hospital that will also show how we see from the chart admitted to hospital and the uh, about covid bhav mad navash is nothing but navash rising at the time of making a chart i mm, we may chart we will share cuz now share a screen mm-hmm. i share a screen this is bhav mad navash here navash rising this 12 number bhav mad navash far ascendant far ascendant bhav mad navash is pisces right pisces is the bhav mad navash far ascendant this navash is 
can be seen for every house bhav mad nawaz can be seen for every house from first house to so i will tell you how to the bhav mad nawaz of sixth house we have two minutes one is very very simple um, that is special point contained in this jh uh, chora program other is probably i will tell you but that is very important i, 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 I tell you what is uh, we have ascendant of india ascendant india's ascendant is 7 degrees 7 degrees 43 minutes right 7 degrees 43 minutes this is third navash this is third navash rising so third navash taurus ascendant so the the counting would be from 10 number this is 10 11 12 the so 12 would be 12 would be our navash of bhav madh navash of lagna similarly for sixth house sixth house sixth house what would be the bhav madh navash sixth house what would be the bhav madh navash hmm? it would be ninth house seven same degrees will take for every house this is bhav madh seven taurus 43 every house will take seven 43 so from seven third navash counting starts from uh, counting starts from movable in, uh, this thing lagna so movable is sign of three, seven is seven, movable seven is movable seven eight nine third so ninth for sixth house which is the house of disease nine number becomes the bhav madh navash of sixth house did you get me other method available in jh chora is we from edit we go to user defined point and user defined point we see set here degrees 150 150 means we add 150 degrees to ascendant that becomes our sixth uh, now we we have gone to sp of sp of sixth house that becomes the sixth house sixth house is disease sixth house is disease but sixth house sixth house character for so many other things apart from apart from our disease it caters for that disease and other matters of the sig um, even relations and other where it is uh, uh, related to sixth house but why disease we see from because if we to disease then there are one method uh, we see the chart d6 and d30 there we see where the special point lies and if we don't forget prachadi he said in chapter 32 to be specific for a, a, a item to be seen from the horoscope or a uh, this then we see so disease is to be seen then certain the chief significator for disease then we we'll see six house from certain that also we see that also refers to disease and see which is common in this now we go to the chart of chakra we see d6 here we go to d6 and then we go to another is d30 d30 is our d30 from d6 we see where is our special point the beauty of this special point is we would see uh, in d6 very special point it will come in mars and venus mars is now i'll tell you mars you remember mars then we go to root of disease d30 here we see again mars is repeating here another saturn comes saturn venus and mars mars is common in between and seat of disease is 11th rashi aquarius rashi and mars is present there right so now we come to 
roll of Mars. Another thing we see, we see the Dreshkan, 22nd Dreshkan, that is in D3 chart, 8th house, and see the Lord of Death, Jupiter is sitting with Mars. Again, Mars is a chapter in all the three, all the three, Mars is the chapter. And how we go about it further? We come again back to this thing. This in sixth house, this is number seven Rashi. What nakshatra would be rising in Bhav Mad? What nakshatra? It is third nakshatra, three, seven, eleven. First two, first two padas are first two Navachas are first two padas are of Mars. Third pada is third is third is Rahu, which is in since it is house is uh, uh, Libra, then Swati is the uh, Swati first would be the nakshatra rising in the bhav cusp of this thing, right? Now in the whole chart, this trine three seven eleven, all these three three seven eleven. Uh, planets present in 3711. See, let us see. Okay, one more thing from here. If it is Swati 1, then it would be contained in Nava chart. In, if it is uh, Swati 1, then all nakshatras rising first pada would be contained in Nava in 159 only. Nakshatras with pada 2. Our second charan would contain in 2610, and Pada 3 would be 3711, and Pada 4 will be 4812. Now, now, we see from the chart, Mars is same degrees, almost same degrees as our ascendant, and it is in Ardra 1. Positioned in Rashi 3. Position in Rashi 3, Mars is in Rahu Nakshatra, Pada 1. So, and I just said, if you remember, Mars, uh, the uh, Bhav Mad of 6th house is number 9. We showed you number 9 here. Number nine, there is the FP also, Mars. And Mars is contained in this. And Mars is contained here. Up to this, is it clear to everybody? If not, you can seek answers to this before we proceed further. Yes, please. Hello, sir. Yes, please. Show me. Uh, your sir, uh, sir, can we use uh, BCP method in the Mundin chart like uh, India chart? Please see. You may use anything. What I am talking, what, from where I have derived the thing, I am teaching you my method, but it's our method. BCP method may be good, but we are, but we are going with the sub theory. We have said BCP method. Yes, you can, but where you get the result, you you go ahead by the, that. I follow, I follow Patel Saab and okay. blindly follow. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yes, please. So, so uh, first is who would fall sick is my question. Who would fall sick? Whether disease would come to everybody? Or it will come to few people, or it would it would uh, in immunity or strong lagna is seen first. Which prevails? Sixth house prevails or lagna? A sixth house lord or lagna lord? Sixth house or lagna? Which prevails? If sixth house is strong, then disease prevails. If lagna is strong, 
then our immunity is strong and disease will not be able to disturb us right disease will not be able to disturb us we we are to look into this aspect so in india chart we would see the strength of lagna and placement of lagna during the period considering the period we are we are looking at now from today can anybody tell me when the first news of new corona this virus uh emerged few days back today's study it can anybody tell me the date or they can write in the this column in their column they they will they i will see that if you, they can write if you are not it was 20th i think it was 20th of uh, december when the news emerged first so i make a chart of 20th december right <clears throat> so let us see the make of 20th december chart mm -hmm. 20th december 20th december is the chart it this is a um, i share the new share i will share uh, uh this mm. screen being uh, no um is the screen visible to everybody i am not able to see the chart mm. yes it's visible so when you see anything special in this uh, degrees of uh, uh, 20th december chart or 19th december chart when it there was a fierce psychosis yes there is um, more of corona emerging in uh, china and it will affect india that india everybody said there were news and everybody said corona may be coming corona may be coming can you see anything uh, this you would see the degrees of venus our ascendant matching ne rahu right trying to 18 degrees it is whatever time it was matching that time or it was earlier maybe few hours before or it was 19th so uh, it was matching rahu degrees touching venus almost same degrees almost same degrees so the venus was in shadowy condition and venus was in shadowy condition and the news came on that day right this is the story of this our method is very very simple up to this if you have understood uh, up to this if you have understood we we'll go further on this now the planet in transit as uh, now the planet in transit would be touching i have showed you ascendant of six house is six house is sagittarius here sagittarius here and mars is position in this potatoes have rights potatoes have rights in in the chapter of uh, bhav navash this thing he writes that planet transit transiting the navash of cuspal points mid point of various houses produce fullest effects at that time so this means malefic or benefic planets transiting here in sagittarius are who will come in sagittarius when they would be in nakshatra as of rahu ardra would come here <laughs> sorry ardra would come here swati would be here and here it be it would be 11 with sadisha so sadisha would be in 11 ardra 
Swati. Since Swati are these three places, now in future, Saturn is Saturn is now Saturn is coming to number eleven. I have. I'll show you the chart. You please take a take a uh, as my the new thing has come. Uh, when I see, I I cannot see the green uh, over Arno. We we can see the the chart. Uh, oh, the wonderful! Uh, there's any graph? Graph? No. Yeah. Yeah, the graph. This, huh. this graph. Huh. So this is the graph. I have made. I think I do not know. I'm not sure. This is the first ever attempt by anybody to put it in a graph form. So I'll put it a hundred percent. This thing it is gate wise. This twenty seventh will first show you the twenty seventh December was yesterday. This is not yesterday. The Active cases based after the seventh December was zero point zero percent, means three thousand four hundred and twenty four cases were active that day, right? Now on fifteenth of March, Saturn would enter. Saturn would enter Aquarius. Aquarius Rashi uh, when Saturn would Aquarius Rashi, it would enter. On January 18th, but it would be in it would be in the next uh, third turn, which will not it will may, may have some effect. But when Saturn enters sub disha, nakshatra of nakshatra of this thing uh, Rahu, then Saturn. Start giving results of it is the chief significator of the wheel. It enters Aquarius Rashi, and then it sh starts showing results. Start showing results on 23rd March first thing. But this would be the hardly any difference because ascendant when ascendant would be strong. This is the position of Venus. Venus would be in on 27th. This is uh, Rashi. Number one and number four. So Venus would be quite strong. There will be hardly any effect. So we have said uh, ascendant would be one and two. One is one and two. Uh, first, uh, we'll go to 15th March chart. We we'll show 15th March chart here. Now I'll be showing various dates and then. Fifteenth March chart. Fifteenth hmm? March chart. Saturn enters. Fifteenth March two thousand twenty-two. Saint Saturn enters. Sub Disha one. Saturn enter Sub Disha one. Right? You would see here Saturn is has, has come in Rashi nine Sagittarius. Saturn has come in Rashi nine, where India chart nine number already contains Mars there. It joins Mars up. Mass of our original chart. This uh, thing, so Saturn grand mass. This is that I am showing you. Uh, this here is. Is this being shared? Planets transiting. I have to. I have to uh, enter from two. Yeah, places. we can see it. Planets. Uh, planets transiting the Navash of cusple points. Planets transiting the class of um, cusple points of various houses to do the full effect at that time of um, uh, at mm -hmm. full effect at that time. 
plant transit in advance of customer points of mid points of various houses produce their full fat so satan has enter enter the crucial point of sixth house so it is showing the it is showing the full effect of that place right so now we are back to screen so the this is 25th march satan enters and uh, we show the chart of india so in uh, we show you the chart <laughs> This is Saturn as enter here, and uh, let me enter so, so that I can see what is being shared. Um, let me enter from other place. So that I know what is being shared. that was fine hanji so now i can see what is being shared i have entered from mobile also so this is the uh, position is 1 and 2 venus uh, uh, venus here would be uh, venus here would be number 1 rashi that is 12th house and number 2 that is lagna so 12th house is also good 12th house is also good venus in 12th house is exaltation point and venus in number 2 is lagna itself to so lagna is strong it will not have much effect on that day then further we go to we go to 27th march when mars also enters adrava right so we we come here to um, see the mars show let it is gone this is 27th march so you would see in number 9 mars and saturn they have reached mars and saturn they are mars is where mars is gemini ardra 1 ardra 1 right and saturn is already there sub disha one so this is a point another so the number of cases increase then further thing i have showed you just showed you before the beginning of the class that when our it touches the degrees of ascendant the peak comes for that time so mars attains Ascendant degrees on twenty ninth. Let us see. Uh, Mars attain twenty ninth. What would happen? Twenty ninth. Mars would attain degrees of seven degrees Gemini. It attains same degrees as of Mars and as of ascendant. So that day Mars will be showing the maximum effect. And after that, it starts receding. After twenty ninth, it starts receding. So it starts. leaving separating aspect is to start leaving the the mars uh, uh, though it would remain in adra one that it would start leaving its impact for soul impact because it would go beyond the degrees of uh, this seven degree ascendant india's chart seven degrees ascendant then would come on second april second april second april how many planets come in nine sun also joins here sun here at the sun enters sagittarius navasha all positions of this are written here 
um, uh, this thing agra is uh, that day it is 1 and 6 that is um, ascendant position little bad but it will be for a day only 7 27 29 this days will be little the um, active cases would be 0.045 and 0 this is assumption my assumption only 0.05 based on this thing i'll show you why i have said so then on second uh, third april k2 also joined swati one it would be i show you this is very important very important third may this is third april sorry third april so we we'll click from here it will come third april but time would be i show you again poonam ji ah huh. please will be telling to can we you know it is on net we can let me see on net and it is ah huh. so uh, saturn sun venus and ketu all four places all four in number 9 all four in number 9 we have said ketu also ketu is here ketu sun saturn venus it is in all in swati 1 i show you ketu will be in uh swati 1 swati 1 means uh so swati 1 ketu would be in swati 1 we can do it from here it would be swati one ठीक like this then set on 15th april saturn leaves sat disha one saturn leaves when it leaves sat disha one it will be 2 1 again ascendant will be strong then it proceeds from 0.08 to come on 3rd april many planets there i have said this 10 times would be the thing it is assumption only it is assumption when when one planet two planets three planets and four planets so they are all joining mars of navasha of india's chart so it would be point 1 then point 8 receive then remaining are saturn and ketu in rahu nakshatra one and, and this is fourth april the so saturn leaves then two one then ketu leaves major impact this is my assumption which i will tell in the class sometime so why did i do k2 touches the degrees of ascendant k2 on 23rd june k2 touches degrees of ascendant means 7 degrees in few minutes we, we can show you that k2 touches 7 degrees uh, few minutes 20 third june april may june 7 degrees libra 48 means it is it is touching the degrees of ascendant then it start leaving and 8 july after touching the degrees of uh, on 23 june it receives and 8 july 8 july it would leave swati all planets would leave this thing k2 and sun they they, they would all planets would please rest all planets are very fast they come for a day and they leave moon comes for six hours sun for one day um, three days like that but it will it will come for uh, degrees it touches when it touches the degree around 7 degrees of navash of navash then it may touch otherwise based on this now i tell you the uh, basics of this thing chart so venus now seen we have 
seen the progression as taught by as taught by patel saab is that venus in current year from 15th august 2021 Uh, 2022 2023 venus ascendant whole year it would remain in number uh, in 12th house and its dispositor would be dispositor mass would be in number uh, pisces so it it, it this would be, i tell you here i'll show you india chart mars would be it is now we are talking of progression what progression patel sahab had taught us ki planet moves one navash per year one navash per year it uh, moves and on that particular year 76 year venus would be here ascendant would be here 10th house no no worries and mars would be here its dispositor would be here which is the acceleration rashi of venus so Whole year, whole year, Venus would be by and large would be strong. It will not have effect on our body because overall, overall Venus position in in progression would be very very strong. This is very important. Now, one more thing we have to see. They have said about the shah also. they have said about the shah so let us see with the shah would be on during that time from february this is from december third ke moon ke tu moon ke tu are together in india starter here number 5 it is trying to it is trying to this place mars it's trying to mars india so that special point or bhav mad of 6000 and then 27 feb and 30th march would be rahu dasha so most this thing would be crucial would be 27th feb to 27th feb to 30th march if you want to consider dasha also so we we go by this also and see the impact would lessen as per this impact would lessen when ketu dasha uh, this thing but if um, after that ketu dasha will see after ketu dasha goes then venus dasha comes that time uh, ketu dasha uh, now will be 23rd uh, ra, uh, after ra, uh, uh, this rahu dasha then jupiter dasha would come jupiter dasha jupiter is posted in sixth house but it will not it is not in it is not in it is not in mm, rahu's nakshatra we see its dispositor positioned in third house of india star venus which is its exaction rashi number 4 is the exaction rashi so jupiter will not give the disease right this is our view point so um, uh, let me see uh, i have uh, taught you d6 root cause d3 we have taken the planet from there how the this come this is come from four houses one is number 6 house other is the 8 house hereditary and fifth house fifth house is fifth house is sur prakash ji father of dv uh, raman ji uh, in medical astrology he says Fifth house is self-assume, depression, and other things. Our thoughts they give us disease. Sixth house, fifth house is our self-made disease, which is which is uh, our thoughts. We see something going on bad to me. I I'll die or something. Some phobia. So fifth house, our thoughts and the thing they give us disease. Fifth house. So we we should control fifth house. So to that can be control. So we have seen planets occupying. midpoint namash of six house all planets in sagittarius namash are showing the result if benefic transit that uh, point uh, benefic uh, transit that point 
سکس سکس نماز مڈ پوائنٹ آف سکس ہاؤس نماز دین دے گیو گڈ افیکٹ دس از ایپلیکیبل ٹو آل دا ہاؤس آف دی ہارو کروپ یو وانٹ ٹو سی ٹینتھ ہاؤس جو آئی ول آنسر دا کوشچن ایٹ دی اینڈ آف دس ول گیو یو آل ٹائم پلیز ہاں سو ناؤ ون مور تھنگ ون مور تھنگ از پٹیل صاحب تھیوری آف پروگریشن is we see at the beginning of this year whether any bad effects would come during the year this year ahead at the on 15th uh, uh, august on 20 uh, 22 we, uh, we will see what um, planets would be touching ascendant there are five methods we have taught in the class that we will be teaching you we have all the things we will teach you wonderfully well and you will be able to see within one setting so then jupiter in that progression and that 22 22nd 15th august jupiter is acquired is touching the ascendant this year so all the um, uh, jupiter's be- uh, benign uh, aspect in ascendant would save us right venus we said uh, is progress to 12th house whose dispositor is mars sitting in uh, rashi 12 pisces then it is in exact exaltation rashi and no malefic planet no malefic planet in progression is affecting either in trine or in uh, or in um, progression the thing they are affecting the our india's ascendant are no malefic so by and large by progression theory works very well we'll teach you in the class this is also uh theory affair now i will see question one by one we'll tell you um, i think i have been able to uh be able to uh more news i will see on um, uh this thing uh, narendra uh, modi ji's mother that will also tell you today we'll take a few minutes on that and we'll tell you what would happen and what is patel sir says on this thing will tell you also now question on this is i will seek questions on this Okay can we request anybody who has questions to put their video on please and then raise your hand now i before that i i said what no fear the variant is not likely to pose serious risk to indian population the lagna lord is very strong the worst case scenario is the variant could cause mild upper respiratory symptoms 3711 Three seven eleven is airy rashi for one or two days. It is confirmed by many medical specialists, including virologists. Our immune system is strong now because lagna nod is strong. As most of us have taken booster doses, also hot line water gargles and gel nitty is possible. So would be a good preventive during the period. Fennel with sugar or sugar coated fennel after meals is a good remedy for March. because because it is a mars and to control rahu mars is a factor it is a mahout an elephant if uh, rahu is the elephant then mars is mahout so mars we make mars strong so it is a, it uh, affects our respiratory system we will take uh, fennel uh, sugar which are both uh, both are significant of mars um, and then it will be a good thing but simple this is simple remedies 
for this thing. This is our basic and follow the COVID norms. Hundred degrees. How do you like it? Yeah, of course. Your your webinars are always uh, filled with fantastic techniques. I think it just people just need time to understand to to grasp. Well, I told you. So I think I very very simple way. I went ahead. Very very simple way. Anyhow, please uh, ask questions now. I'll be more wiser. There's a question in the chat. Uh, what is the conclusion of many planets coming into the tenth house of D nine in transit? Is it tenth house of D nine? Of D nine, Navamsha. Navamsha chart D nine will show one chart. India chart they are talking or any chart? You... I, it probably is in the India chart. India chart D nine. If you if you see the transit chart and the tenth the house, yes, yes. Uh, this is many. The, I four said, planets. Ha, uh, four planets. Malefic, malefic cause give you pain and benefits relieve you of the pain. So all malefic, Ketu, Sun, Saturn, they in the hand, but in the in the nakshatra of Rahu, uh, Ardra, Swati, and uh, Sadhisha. This is the simplest technique. I told you, tenth house of D nine, where Mars is in Mars in the other one, planet child. This is what I showed you the technique of Patel's up. He says, mid planet transiting the Navasha of Kashmir point of sixth house produce their full effects at that time. Full effects of this time means malefic will give maleficence. And benefit, benefit would give benefits. So, I cannot expect malefic planets to malefic planets to give us benefit results. It will give malefic. Okay, so I think that's clear. Uh, if anybody else has any questions, please raise your hand. Ah, yes. Definitely. Keegan? Yeah. Hi, good evening. So, you mentioned that you can use that technique for any house. So, if i looking at, say, speculation, or probably FIFA or some children, in my horoscope, in my horoscope channel, mm -hmm. then I follow the same sequence as to... There is sound coming, disturbing the TV or something. The background like from, well, it's, it's broad day where I live, midday, and people outdoors buying stuff. Okay, okay. okay. Uh -huh. But I'll try to make it quick. What I was saying is that in the fifth house, if I have to follow that same concept in the transit and uh -huh. follow the planets in the Navamsha that going over the fifth house or the Rashi in the fifth house. Yeah. That was my question. If I have to follow that concept, or... I think uh, Keegan, on this, I have I plan to do a webinar tomorrow to show the um, various houses, the tenth house uh, of uh, SP of tenth house. How did uh, our Udav Thakkare, Chief Minister of uh, why he was removed from the Chief Ministership? Or in um, fifth house, you, I think probably you I, there is a lot of noise coming. I heard about fifth house. So you have to see the fifth house mid Namasha and see how planets are there. If fifth house midpoint be in Namasha of Venus, the native will have many children. Right? But if there are malefics also, they counteract and they neutralize also. How effective which planets are near the degrees of ascendance would be more effective. If suppose Rahu is near the degrees of ascendance, then it would have more effect than any other planet. Planets present in the fifth mid house of mid uh, fifth house midpoint Namasha will have will have. You impact, you have to see and analyze 
which planets are near to you can from here you can see the degrees from here you right click and choose the degrees of navasha transit planets at this planet you can see the degrees d9 degrees navasha degrees so this is thing how you can see that tomorrow we plan to do a webinar on uddhav thakre's exit from the six very very simple we method we will do that we will try to do that is it planned for tomorrow vinay ji or dipesh ji uh vinay ji is not here okay uh, so, so we'll just, have to confirm uh, we'll, ha we will confirm and we'll confirm you yes. yes. did you understand kegan ji is kegan did you understand what i said great thank you very much any other questions please there's another question in the chat uh vikas panjwani how can we judge the strength of ascendant venus if it is lord of both first and sixth house and especially moon ah, corner venus wonderful Again, wonderful wonderful like question house. wonderful question wonderful. this answer has been given by mr krishna murthy he says ascendant lord of ascendant near it is giving strength to whom is is position in the chart is it is it compatible to sixth house or compatible to lagna lord i where here in the chart also when we have i show you a very good question uh, not now this is so uh, we will show you this uh, this i have set 27 it's 1 in 6 so it is low venus in navash has acquired sixth house sixth number rashi which is the with sixth house six is the fifth house but it is the twelfth house of sixth sixth house in india's chart sixth is the deviation rashi in in in, a, in a, uh, venus is in rashi number 6 so that day it would be for a one day it would be it would be in low position so here they, it is increases 0.045 that said it is increased right and again uh, 17 17 rashi is sixth house again it further increased so the two days venus would be weak and it goes venus goes very fast in navash two days it takes and then it goes moves forward yes please okay then uh, abir has asked should i take house in d9 or any divisional chart i think we're only looking at d9 d9 is for strength of a planet we'll show you tomorrow About D10, same thing in D10. Also, we will show you D10. Also, special points, and we can see. He says, Patel Sahab's book says, I read that uh, thing. Patel Sahab is saying, if midpoint of seventh bhav falls in Navasha of Venus and several other Venetian vargas means in other vargas also. if it falls in venus varga the net, native is likely to have many wives in uh, there are many vargas which vargas you are considering if again they confirm we see d30 chart again it was saturn we, in and disease it was again uh, concerning saturn and mars was sitting there mars was sitting there we see the varga we have seen d30 we have seen d6 So all other vargas we have seen the position of uh, point the special point. So other vargas we see also. Please. Okay, that sounds great. Uh, now uh, Nikhil has mentioned about Japan having the highest number of cases. Uh, can we use this and and verify? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We would need yeah, to look yeah, at Japan's yeah. chart for that. Uh, the plant chart, and I would need Japan's chart. Ah, uh, we can use this. In India, also we have a technique. There are so many states. 
this is the because we have considered delhi being capital of delhi this is considering whole of india sometimes cases are more in uh, mumbai they are in maharashtra they are more in odisha there then we are to draw a chart of that place same degrees only ascendant would change we have to draw chart of that state capital and see the thing and uh, we have seen the like same india chart this is a new technique unused by anybody we we uh, latur earthquake same india chart we use latur ascendant degree latur longitude latitude and then we saw this thing that uh, matches when it works wonderfully well this is a beautiful uh, concept introduced for the first time same india chart with various states we have so many charts now i think if there is no question i would just want to show modi's chart this thing uh, let us see how how big is the work this modi's mother chart uh, modi's chart will from there will see when his mother this thing any 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 other question please nothing that's all for questions for now hmm. now we narendra modi chart as we have. i do not know. but i know i feel it is correct one and then we apply that today's uh, this thing uh, this thing what it says what it says what what our theory says my students should know that uh, what the theory says is um, today start what time we saw in the morning we will put any time in the morning uh, today start we put time in the morning say 10 o'clock at 11 plus just at the night she was admitted do you see any anything all anybody can anybody can see do you see anything happening where is the transit going what is the theory say theory says today sir theory says when the moon please listen to me carefully when the moon in her course comes in trine to the lord of eighth house when the moon in her course comes to trine of eighth house or to the navasha rashi occupied by lord of eighth house then that should be predicted as a certainty that should be predicted as a certainty so what is the thing and other thing is when saturn moves for that two or more planets not one two or more planets we see the age also two or more planets are uh, visit uh, earth lord and moon also joins them so we will consider can you see anything uh, similarity in this chart can you see to the chart and see what is happening to uh, where eighth house from uh, modi modi's mother this is eighth house so this one theory is lord of this occupying this lord of this is sun sun is occupying 10th rashi 10th rashi and saturn is uh, transiting from here other trine moon is in number 6 and today today in six rashi this is i submit a post rahu and saturn they are together on natal moon navash rahu and saturn this is number 6 natal moon and trine to sun degrees of rahu navash degrees of rahu is 8 degrees virgo and moon degrees of modi's mother 8 degrees scorpio 
This is K2 is degrees A degree Pisces. So 4, 8, 12, K2 degrees 8 Pisces, it is, it is in trine to A degree Scorpio. Game of degrees. But would it affect is mother going to leave this word? Not now. He said when moon comes in trying to this thing, moon is in today, moon is in number eleven. Today moon is in number eleven. Pisces. Uh, sorry, this is in the nine degrees. Uh, moon is in Aquarius. Then it comes to number 12. Whether it will be inclined to that, we have to see. Or will it be um, day after tomorrow? I think I have not seen this. But most likely, if the chart is right, it should come to number two. That number two six ten, uh, two six ten, or will will a moon here would come. So maybe mm, she maybe hospital till maybe thirty first. If we you know, progress that uh, transit progress, we do progress here more days, then we will see. Uh, there are two things are coming. One is. Uh, Saturn degree here at 29 and and Saturn degree uh, Saturn is Leo Saturn is Leo this is 8th house and Saturn coming on Saturn now on Saturn this Saturn is 27 degrees here I think now we get now on degrees so mm, this is uh, this 11 Th those degrees 29 degrees it will take time, but for that, I think moon coming, uh, moon coming near the mm, two six ten means uh, Taurus Rashi. Maybe that time, something, or before, it's two three days. I will not uh, comment on this for certainty because mm, we should not be doing it. It is uh, we can do hourly transit and we can do even daily transit. I think period is bad till. Till first is thirty first uh, December, and then about eighth or ninth January. I do not know. Maybe she remains with us, or we we will not say. I leave it to you. I have told you method. My people they 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 also know the method. So we this is how we degree wise we will show you this thing. All curious potatoes have. Every word of potato sub book is a pearl. The pearl is a pearl and it should be it's a gem up. Book is beautiful. Degree, did you see this? Degree is degree is playing its part. Yeah, it's uh, very impressive. Um I think this two gives us a two, uh, two, two places we have showed you degree wise. The day Corona news phobia came to India was uh, 19th December or 20th December. Degrees of Rahu meeting Venus. There are now degrees of this thing moon on traveling on Rahu moon again traveling uh, Rahu and Saturn traveling on Modi's moon, which is represents mother also, right? Mm. And then trying to learn of. This place, Navancha, this uh, Navancha occupied by this is a place of fuel. So we've, we've seen two examples now, uh, one, one for an entire uh, country and one for an individual person. Yes, and that yes. true for their, for their mother as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. So I think this gives us a good preview of your uh, upcoming course in which we can learn even more. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm quite certain. I just want to... I, I think by today the disease catching a disease from a chart, I think it should be very, very easy for everybody. It, it makes some sense. So I look forward to people joining the course. And 
all those theories are these theories are based and i i give you one example more give me five minutes more uh now the first half theory is based whole book uh, revolves around nirvana and he has given a circular chart he has given a circular chart so uh, he speaks of in earlier chapters he speaks of various numerical numbers he says he says i'll include the chart into a um, plain chart i'll i'll share the chart with you let me see if i have now i can do it um, let me see if i can do it no i'm sure you this is the chart numerical number chart of simple chart start from ashwini 1 is actually one is numerical number number 1 and bharni would be numerical number number bharni first would be 5 like it continues go on goes on and pushya one india uh, pushya one will be numerical number number 1 he says there are various uh, various namamsha uh, he has said he has spoken about uh, various namamsha he says when um, first is um, 54 nawash everybody knows it is bad and full chapter is there we will discuss that he says 88 88 nawash and 108 nawash both nawash are if the moon nawash at birth in case a bridegroom happens to be 88th one from bridegroom from bride Uh, bride groom happens to be eight years from bride. Then, when counted from bride, it indicates intense evil in married life. Same is with hundred eight nawaz. So this is how we we'll see we we'll see the moon nawaz from here. And then um, we I have made it. This will be giving to everybody students. We will repeat. This is um, uh, the. Uh, by Edgar, we we'll put twenty nine. We we'll put thirty thirty one. It's India's uh, thing. Put thirty one, and then we hundred eight number will be pushed here too. This is uh, pushed here three. Then hundred eight will be definitely pushed here too. And number eight Rashi would be four, and number eight Rashi would be this, and eighty uh, eight number would be thirty two. So by from by Well, nakshatra should not be critical to. Very simple. I have made a chart, and that will be given to my students. Um, that should be shared. Uh, also, the this, it also contains the number of ascendant and midpoint of six house. Actually, India twelve numbers. India's uh, ascendant. Uh, I show you India's chart again. Um, show show you India's chart. Kriti ka four, Kriti chart is <coughs> no, it has not come. I'll show you. It is Lagna is Kriti ka four. It has not come. no why is it can india start to why it is not i'm sharing the new share why it is not coming the screen is sharing oh we can see the chart now india chart yeah yeah so 
it is lagna is kritika 4 kritika 4 then if we come to this uh, our chart this thing we put kritika 4 is namash this thing is kritika 4 is numerical namash is 4 kritika 4 this is number 12 numerical namash number 12 all these things are very very simple now we we put here number 12 we we can this we can um, first we put 11 then it comes to this now we put 12 This is Swati one we showed, and Namash Rashi was number nine. Within one second, it will it shows the midpoint up, midpoint. Oh, so I, 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 sorry, sorry, I, I have to share this. Oh, it is lost. Here we put Namash. The six uh, we can put any any Namash thirty or uh, but it was twelve. So it will come to midpoint of six houses. Swati one. We will see midpoint of ninth or uh, tenth houses. Then third Disha one ninth house. Two six ten will be all will be Namash Rashi would be two six ten trine would all the thing. We have to see the eighth house. The eighth house. Then we we come from here. The midpoint of the thing, eighth house. Then will be mula three. Namaste, Rashi would be three. So all such things can be easily seen if one cannot do it. Uh, put his mind. We can we can use this chart. We will be giving it to every student to so making them easy. And then now a question is coming. He says, "Patel Sab says, I take one one simple example. Patel Sab says." It is the fifty-fifth Navash, fifty-fifth Navash, from the rising Navasha at the time of performance of marriage. At the time of performance of marriage ceremony, Pani Graha he says no planet should be in fifty-fifth Navash as reckoned from rising ascendant Navash at that time. Though it is he is talking of Mahurta. If at the time of 55th Navash there should be no planet in 55th Navash, so we we know uh, we moon ascendant here we will put ascendant. India's chart would be suppose India's chart uh, 55th Navash would be Anuradha. No planet should be Anuradha. How to see that uh, 55th Navash? It should be present in it should be present in Rashi chart seventh house and Navash chart also seventh house. So no planet. But, my dear sir, don't limit yourself to marriage only. Widen your base, widen your perception, widen your vision. So, at the time of any agreement between you and your tenant, or any agreement with you, if partnership also, any agreement partnership, or you are starting a new business partnership, look for those things. They would be gain helpful. In seventh house, no planet would be should be there. So all those things we can make use. Don't limit yourself to whatever Patel Sab has said. So broaden your vision, and you can use this perception, use this uh, perception, and use this this concept to look at. Keep at the at, at any time uh, I should agreement. Let me see the chart at that time. No plan. Same planet. I show you how to take this. This thing, uh, Navash. I'll show you. I'll make one example here also. Fifty fifth Navash. I'll show you. So this is fifty fifth Navash. No, it doesn't. I'll show you. <clears throat> See, so 
So K2 is here and K. 55th will why 55th? Six I see nine uh, nine nine six up fifty four fifty four here it comes to forty eight forty nine fifty fifty one fifty two fifty three fifty four and fifty five K two here both is in fifty fifth March we can check our chart also K two degree we will see K two Shatra will see. I think it is Swati. K two Swati four. Hmm? We put ascendant as Bharni two, Bharni two Lagna. Hmm? We in our chart we put Bharna, Bharni two. Bharni two is number six. Numerical March number six. Fifty-four. So one can, can at the time of health, it is it may only for fourteen minutes. No one changes it changes the position. So we can look for about we can leave those fourteen minutes to the March uh, the six and we can to our um, beneficence we can use the chart for. You have to remember you are going to make a partnership at making an agreement, doing anything else, starting a new venture and entering into agreement. Please look into that. There should not be any planet in 55th Navash, Prince of Rights, and there may be um, even benefic also. They may be functionally benefic. So he says, he says. That look for fifty fifth March, but don't limit your option into marriage, but to other events of life which which have an impact on your life. Their partnership is there. All those things you are entering into partnership, you are entering into uh, new agreements. So all such things would be would be helpful in doing that. This thing. We teaching all those things in our course. Dipeshji, how do you like it? Yeah, so that fifty uh, fifth Navamsha would come in seventh uh, house, so that's why, especially partnership and uh, agreement yes, matters, right? Yeah, yeah. yes, yes. Sir. Hmm. I think that's similar to the uh, Ashtam should be uh, rule in Murta. Well, all this, the fifty fourth Navash, yeah. everything from ascendant, yeah. from moon, everything we 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 would we, 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 we have all this thing. We will be having chapter on sixty fourth Navash. We'll be doing. Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. If anybody else? has any questions? I think it's pretty clear. Yeah. So, thank you.